I am uh, Masood Mansouripur. Uh, I am on the faculty of uh, the College of Optical Sciences at the University of Arizona in Tucson. My research uh, is uh, in the area of uh, radiation pressure, the momentum of uh, light, momentum of photons, and um, I've been working in this uh, particular area for the past uh, 12 years. And uh, the application is in the area of uh, optical tweezers, where you use uh, laser light to grab small microparticles and uh, move them around. Well, in the early 2000s, uh, I started a project at the University of Arizona to store data in um, DNA uh, or other micromolecules. Um, the estimate is that you can put a petabyte of data in a sugar cube, a cubic centimeter. Um, device can hold a petabyte of data. That's 10 to the 15 bytes. If you want to compare it with what you can do with optical recording, a petabyte of data requires a stack of disks, stack of uh, DVDs that is about 20 meters high. So sugar cube versus uh, a 20 meter stack um, makes sense for us to look, uh, look at alternatives like uh, micromolecular storage. And so we started doing that. And uh, one of the techniques that we were developing for dragging these uh, DNA molecules in front of a read-write head um, was based on um, uh, the angular momentum of light. We were thinking of using the spin or orbital angular momentum of photons to rotate certain objects and uh, drag the macromolecules in front of the head. So that problem got me uh, excited. and. Uh, after a while, I just moved uh, to that area and started working on the problem of uh, radiation pressure and photon momentum. What uh, I am excited about is the basic physics. Um, I like to understand uh, what light is and um, how it propagates, how it diffracts, how it interacts with material media. Uh, light can exert uh, pressure on, uh, on the material objects. Light can um, rotate um, material objects if angular momentum is transferred. And um, so these are the fundamental properties of light and photons that interest me. But uh, there is also practical applications for this field. Uh, right now here we are at a symposium where people are presenting results of their work on optical tweezers. Optical tweezers are um, devices where uh, laser beam is used to grab onto a small objects, like biological cells. Lift them, stretch them, move them around, and um, or um, uh, insert uh, small microparticles inside these biological cells and get them to spin. And so for basic studies of um, micro objects, um, one can use um, optical tweezers, one can use the momentum of light and angular momentum of light to uh, manipulate these, uh, these micro objects. When I started looking at the uh, problem of uh, uh, radiation pressure and the momentum of light, um, I learned that um, for about 100 years, since 1908 to be exact, people have been uh, arguing about the momentum of light. Everyone knows what the momentum of light is in vacuum or in free space. But as soon as uh, photons get inside the material medium, let's say a medium that has a refractive index of n, n being 1.5 for ordinary glass uh, or 1.3 for water. When photons get into a material medium, then there are two theories as to what their momentum is. One theory says that the momentum of the photon will be what it is in vacuum multiplied by the refractive index. Another theory says that no, it's the momentum in vacuum divided by the refractive index. So there's a wide range uh, between these two points of view. And initially, these were just theoretical arguments. Theoreticians were coming up with models for light and um, finding these two formulas. And experimentalists uh, said, well, it's very easy to decide which one is right. We go and do an experiment and find out. So when the experimentalists started uh, uh, 
uh, working on this problem, they realize that some of them are getting um, one answer and other experimentalists are getting the other answer. So both answers seem to be correct. And uh, so for the past 100 years, people have been uh, arguing on theoretical grounds and also based on the experiments as to what is actually the momentum of photon inside the material medium. And uh, very famous people have contributed to this debate, Einstein being one of them, Hermann Minkowski is another one. And um, so I looked, in, uh, looked at this problem and uh, I studied the physics behind it and I studied the experimental uh, results that have been published. And uh, so I came up with my own answer. And my answer is that the momentum of light is neither multiplied by n nor divided by n, but it is exactly halfway between the two. So I kind of split the difference. And so that's the, the theory that uh, I have developed and I have been publishing and uh, presenting it at conferences for several years now. <laughs>